Hey, what's up guys? Today I'm going to be showing you a shulker farm. I've got two designs here. One of them is going to be slightly bigger and a lot faster, and the smaller one is probably the simplest shulker farm you will ever see. Both of these require very basic materials, zero glass, and just a few stacks of blocks. And before anyone says anything, in the video I'm not going to be going over the mechanics because I honestly don't understand how they work in this version. The wiki is just completely wrong and doesn't make any sense based off my testing. All that I know is when one shulker kills another one with a bullet, a new one will spawn where that old one was if there's few enough shulkers nearby it. That's why this farm is laid out the way it is. As to the rates, this farm gets over a thousand shells per hour, which is more shulker boxes than you will ever need. As to the materials of the farm, for the big one, you're going to need about 16 blocks and actually six stacks of slabs. I put five here, that's wrong. A hopper, two chests, four armor stands, and two water buckets. As to the small farm, you're going to need two blocks, half a stack of slabs, a water bucket, two stone buttons, and an armor stand. And these can be any button type. Additionally, to capture shulkers, you're going to need about a set of armor and an elytra, which can be found in the in-cities, a pickaxe of any type, some boats, and some leads. I would highly recommend having potions of invisibility, as these are very important for this. Scaffolding can also make this a lot easier, but it's optional. Once you've gotten your materials ready, let's begin. First, locate yourself an in-city. Then, about 40 blocks away, build about 40 blocks into the air. This ensures the shulkers will stay within the farm. If you don't have scaffolding, you can just pillar up. We then want to place down our double chest and our hopper on top of this. This is going to be the center of the farm where you AFK. You then want to build out 8 blocks with slabs and on 8th one place a block up. Then build out 7 blocks and remove the big block you placed. Then place 2 slabs here and fill in this whole side along with this whole side. And then Fill in the entire other side the same way, and again place two slabs here. You then want to build in walls around the whole thing just like this to hold in the water. You then want to waterlog this slab and this slab, and make sure to refill your buckets to the next side. Once you've completed this side, repeat the process on all four sides. Your finished collection system should look like this. Now build up a block here and place a block on top. Place slabs on every side of this block, and place an armor stand on top of each of the slabs. Then replace the middle block with a slab, and pillar up two more blocks. Then place slabs on top of each of the armor stands, and then dig back down and replace your roof block with a slab. These ensure the armor stands don't fly away when they get levitation. You can then use some blocks to get back on top and place three slabs out in this direction, then place two solid blocks. Then place slabs on every side except the bottom of these blocks so the shulkers won't teleport there. And then build out an additional five blocks in this direction and place two more solid blocks and repeat this process. Then, mine out the blocks in between them. And repeat this for all four sides. The build is now complete and it's time to get the shulkers. Fly to the bottom and grab any items out of the chest that fell in the water streams. Then, you can choose to leave the scaffolding as a ladder to your item chest, or you can break it and rebuild it for the next step. We then want to choose a spot right in the corner here to build up another scaffolding pillar. If you don't have scaffolding, once again, you can just pillar up once you have the shulkers. This is a little bit trickier though, and the scaffolding makes this really easy, so I'd really recommend getting it. Then once you're ready, make sure to take off all your armor, as the invisibility potions won't work with it on. Also remember that you don't have an elytra on anymore, so don't try and fly. Go ahead and pop an invis and head over to the end city. We then want to grab the shulkers in whatever way works best. I place down a couple of blocks here, place a boat, and ride into the first shulker, and get out immediately, because if you stay near them for too long, they'll see you. I then put a lead on the boat and pull it into the second one. From here, you want to pull the boat all the way back to your tower. 15 minutes later. Check out this god gamer move. Wow. Once you get the shulkers to your pillar, you can climb up it, or if you don't have scaffolding, just pillar up with the boat. Then, once you get to the top, get the shulkers in a good position, and break the boat. They now should teleport to some of the spots on the farm.
You then want to repeat this process until you have about four shulkers in the farm, at which point they will be able to duplicate and we can fill up the rest of the farm without having to grab any more. One way to speed this up is by placing blocks beside some of the shulkers, so that when they get hit they're more likely to duplicate and move to another block. You can then stand in the center of the farm and let them hit each other until they duplicate. Once you have one, you can break the blocks around it and it will teleport back into the farm. You can repeat this process to get all 16 shulkers, or you can just keep boating them from the end city, whichever way you prefer. Either way, once you fill up the farm with shulkers, you're ready to AFK. Just stand in the middle of the farm, and once you're done, go collect the items from bottom. I'm now going to show you the smaller farm. Once again, pillar up about 40 blocks away from an end city about 40 blocks into the air. Then at the top, you're going to want to place a block, and then place slabs in this pattern. Then place a ring of slabs around like this. You then want to place an armor stand here, and place a button here and under the armor stand. Then build up two blocks, and place the two blocks where the shulkers will be here. Make sure to cover all the other sides with slabs. Then, we want to place water inside of this slab. Now that the build's complete, we gotta go capture two shulkers. Once again, take off your armor, drink an invisibility potion, put the shulkers in a boat, bring them over to the pillar, and climb up it. At the top, break the boat, and the shulkers will teleport to their spots. If they're not teleporting, you can always try logging off and logging back on the world, as this will make them teleport instantly. Now that the shulkers are in place, you've finished the farm. All you have to do is stand right behind the armor stand and it'll work. Thank you guys so much for watching and make sure to subscribe.